this poem is entitled, Ghetto Prince Behind a Fence. My crown beholds a royalty of ideas and thoughts so immense that I should accomplish a sixth sense of reality. One that from whence I came before the fame and shame of being a ghetto prince behind a fence. My kingdom is that of oppression upon the masses where warriors and conquerors are born. The weak become prey as their souls are torn while being conditioned to think that becoming actors of gay porn consists of such behavior being the norm. Others are zombies whose mentalities are fluctuated depending upon whether or not they are medicated by mind-altering substances to which the doses are fabricated. For those that are incarcerated leaving their existence alienated. Their confusion is induced by Sinequan and Thorazine and their failure to survive is foreseen by tarot cards slamming on the table in a spades game. See, when AIDS came to be known and full-blown, the predecessors were overthrown from their throne and days of defiancy haven't been seen since. I, on the other hand, remain a conscious man in this savage land on that from whence I came before the fame and shame of being a ghetto prince behind a fence. Sometimes stones are casted toward souls that couldn't have lasted but a hot minute. The game got twisted when snitches got in it. Cats in blue suits trying to win it, not realizing that one third of their day is only adversity for the diversity of this big dog nursery. Some committed perjury while others played God and collected debts from soon to be cave dwellers and grave elders. Some are brave fellas while others lose their confidence and courage or maybe it just so happens they left it in the street next to the heat they used to compete with while participating in black on black crimes for crack and track lines during slack and stack times pushing packs of smack dimes. In fact, I'm almost positive that these blue steel yellow belly sapsuckers won't use common sense in this jungle so immense, built with concrete and bars and scars and attempts of recompense and regaining a foundation from which I came before the fame and shame of being a ghetto prince behind a fence. Though God's omnipotence allows a predetermined destiny, I can't cope with the monotonous routine of cops arresting me while politicians invest in me like I'm some damn blue chip off the old block with stock options. Or maybe I'm a mutual fund for mutual friends involved in some secret society, but society shouldn't keep any secrets because withheld knowledge breeds ignorance, which is an even bigger fence, or should I say nigger sense. So when trigger events arise and we oblige those wicked minds that visualize our demise, how about we compromise instead of victimize so we can stabilize the rise of that brother-on-brother -brother crime rate in those streets from whence I came before the fame and shame of being a ghetto prince behind a fence.